हेलो वेलकम टू ऑल टू दिस एडवांस टॉपिक ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स दिस इज अ पार्ट टू पार्ट वन बेसिक्स आर बीइंग डिस्कस्ड ओके नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद दिस यूज ऑफ साइज ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स ऑन स्ट्रक्चर साइज ऑफ ऑपरेटर एक्चुअली काउंट्स हाउ मेनी बाइट्स आर बीइंग रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर डेटा टाइप और वेरिएबल ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर डेटा टाइप एंड देन इट विल बी प्रिंटेड इन स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज एक्चुअली वर्किंग इन अ डिफरेंट वे In structure, we have different type of member variable: character A, integer B, where C, float D, and size of structure is being calculated as a multiples of the largest data member. Largest data member is float, having four bytes. So each member variable will be given four bytes. So four plus four plus four plus four will be sixteen. Hence, both the printf statements will give me sixteen bytes. Equating structure object to the of the same type. Two structure objects. cannot be equated directly so member by member we can perform this in this example we can see this variable 1 and variable 2 are two variables having same member values a2 2.5 so when we will compare them member by member that means a of variable 1 and variable 2 b of variable 1 and variable c of these they are equal and similarly for variable 3 and variable 4 they are not equal in segregating operation that means individual members how we can handle individual members so individual members can be handled easily as normal variables uh, but dot operator is must so here uh, first structure has been created title author pages and price then one member uh, then one variable book one has been created of the structure book type and then all the entries have been given title author cost and number of pages then cost of the book has been increased by 10% and number of pages are increased by 100 so again these are simple arithmetical expressions values are being added and again stored in the same variable member variables and they are printed by these incremented values so pointer to structure it is easier to maintain pointer to structure than manipulating structure themselves pointer to structure can be very easily passed to a function and they can be utilized while creating a linked list or tree kind of structure data structures in c so declaring a pointer to structure pointer to structure means a variable which is having address of some structure type variable then it is a pointer to structure arrow operator is utilized to handle it otherwise this is a combination of asterisk and dot operator so here one structure book has been created name author pages b1 is the variable having all values all three values then one pointer variable has been created this pointer variable has been initialized with the address of b1 so now pointer will start pointing to the starting address of b1 and b1 dot name b1 dot author b1 dot pages will give normal values and if will if we we want to print values of b1 with the help of pointer indirectly then pointer arrow name pointer arrow author pointer arrow pages will be utilized or this arrow operator can be utilized in this way also asterisk and dot asterisk and dot these parentheses are must because dot operator has higher precedence than asterisk so if will not apply this parentheses then dot operator will not help us to provide this proper value so this is pointer to structure representation as i have already told you same same thing is been applied over here also this asterisk dot and this asterisk dot combination can be replaced by this arrow operator arrow operator is not given in keyboard so minus symbol and greater than symbol in combination are actually arrow operator so pointer to structure member variables pointer to structure object and member variables of any other pointer are accessed using arrow operator so that means ptr arrow x that means we are hand, we are trying to print value of x member variable of some other structure variable whose address is stored with ptr array of structure so when we have more than one structure variable then an array can be created and each member will be of structure array type like here struct book has been created then this is an array of structure so library is actually array of structure so library will be filled with some loop variable so max book is given here this is actually macro value 10 will be replaced here in entire program value 10 will be used utilized while one is actually in finite loop it will work as soon as user want to enter next information or count is more than this either two things are used and break statement will take us out of this so array of uh, library is being created and that will be printed here itself structure within structure is called nesting so one structure has been created completely name structure having two member variables then another structure phone book entry has ob has a member variable as an object of previous structure name so person name can be created over here because this structure is already been created earlier so now any object of this phone book entry can be of having three member variables 
or three values can be given first name last name with the help of this person name and mobile number is its own in next example we can see this properly structure address character phone character city and integer pin then struct emp emp has name and structure address a now this struct address a is actually object of this structure address and here nesting has been done so we will we'll initialize this variable of of type structure employee so john this number rampur and 07 so within this emp this character this name is only its own member variable and rest of the three member variables of structure address so this first second third to access this first second and third we have to use double dot operator e dot a dot city so e dot a will reach at this point and then within a city will be reached by another dot operator function and structure uh, structure can be passed to a function either by simple member variable or by entire structure so generally entire structure has been used so either call by value or call by reference any technique can be utilized here this is representing both the things passing array object by value by value we can pass or by using entire object so here is structure point int x y reflect point struct point so struct this function reflect point can accept entire structure right so here reflect point within reflect point actually swapping of two member variable values has been done using third variable temp but this these member variables pt.x and pt.y are only valid within this function so when you are outside this function that is within main again you are printing they will be unchanged because this is actually call by value representation of entire structure then call by reference has been utilized here and in this case now values are being utilized using pointer to structure variable and this pointer to structure member variables will be handled and they are permanently modified so and output 47 then it will be swapped 74 so inside main out of this function also these pointer variables these member variables are being modified so type def type def is just a keyword that is actually a storage class and whenever we want to get rid of that struct keyword anywhere and only name of that structure is required to create any object then type def is utilized here so every time we don't have to write struct here this is type def struct name this struct name is replaced by this name then few programs we will discuss here and there is a program in which we have given one organization few employees are working over there and we want to find how many uh, few information about few employees whose salary is 50,000 and for, uh, for a particular given department we have to find those employees only so first of all all this structure will be created all the entries of all the employees will be created then entries will be there then there will be a condition so in this condition then first of first of all we should ask this uh, if this program not works well then please uncomment this and use f plus std in and start working then it will work so this is the requirement of clearing the buffer input buffer then here department particular department has been entered suppose we have in, uh, using we have entered here three departments in department one department two department three and we want to find in department two which employees or who are those employees having salary more than 50,000 so that department 2 will be entered here now this condition is successfully executed here logical and operator both things will be given the department 2 will be compared with given department and then particular employee for a particular employee and salary so both should be true then only information of those employees will be represented then we have next program we want to find topper student then first of all structure of student will be created all the entries will be created then finding topper will be based on the marks member variable so all the uh, students from student 0 s10 to s19 all nine students will have different different separate separate marks and we have assumed that first student is the topper so marks of first students are maximum then in from second to second student to last student we will compare marks of each student with our assumed marks and if anybody has got more marks then that will be within max and that index value will be stored in j so after that after that loop will execute completely then we will print all the information regarding jth student because it is a topper student then in the last state last program we have to store we have to actually store a student information records and then in, within a function we want to calculate average marks so first of all student structure has been created then there is a function in which entire student array structure array of students will be passed along with size of the array 
so here first of all uh, structure uh, array structure will be created all the student information has been entered then that function has been called called and this is actually called by reference because array name has been passed as one so within that function that uh, average has been calculated because entire structure array has been passed over here then summation is actually calculated of all the marks of all the students s1 i s10 s1 s11 s12 all the student marks will be summed up and then divided by total number of students and that result is returned and it will be printed over here so this was the all thank you